guys this is Abhishek from GadgetShoot.com and today we are going to do a benchmark plus gaming review of the Huawei SN Y300. Here we have the device with us and we have installed couple of benchmarking utilities and some of the games to show you the overall gaming performance of this device as well as the benchmark scores. So let's start with the Quadrant Standard as of now. So here we have the scores for the Quadrant Standard and the total score is 2202. CPU is 4889, memory is 1181, input output operations is 2825, 2D is 490 and 3D is 1627. And this is how the device ranks when it comes to comparing the device with other devices. As you can see, the device is fairly at a low level as compared to the devices, again because it is a budget segment phone. System information we find that this this device has got an ARM V7 protect processor and which is clocked at 1 gigahertz and you it is a dual core processor if we take a look over the display resolution the display resolution is 418 to 800 and the sensor which we have on this device is 3 axis accelerometer sensor proximity sensor and light sensor you do not have a magnetic field sensor on this device so the gpu on this device is adreno 203 gpu which is again kind of an average gpu uh, this device is definitely not for very high graphic intensive games but it can run casual games as well as some medium graphic intensive games and we will just show you that as you can see the nina max score for this device is are again not very impressive but pretty okay it has got 30.7 fps which is quite a average score so the entry to benchmark score for this device is 5789 which is again quite low and again the ram has scored very less the cpu is pretty okay as well as the cpu 14 point operations are okay whereas the 3d and 2d scores are also quite low because this process this device is again a budget android phone so you cannot expect much as far as the benchmark scores are concerned now we are trying to run the frontline commando d-day on the, uh, which is a kind of a graphic intensive game and let's see how does this game actually play on this device so here we have frontline commando d-day and this game is running right now on this device right now the startup video is running this game is again the overall game performance is not very good even the touch screen is not very responsive as of now while playing this game and the game graphics are also kind of laggy to some extent as you can see the touch screen is not very responsive when it comes to finger touch while playing this game Definitely this game is actually causing a lot of resources on this particular device. But it is at least running. It does take like around 2 to 3 minutes to load before you can actually start playing this game. But you can play this game with certain amount of graphic lag on this device. Especially in case you want to. As you can see. Here we have another game which is called Temple Run OZ. So this device is definitely not good for high graphic gaming but when it comes to the casual games like Temple Run OZ, Temple Run 2, Angry Birds and all other casual games which you can think of they run pretty fine on this device without any issues. Here we have Temple Run OZ which is running on this device and as far as graphics are concerned I do not notice any kind of lag till now. Uh, the touch screen is also pretty responsive when it comes to the game playback. So till now the game is running fine with no lag in the graphics. As well as the draw distance is not too far but again pretty okay for this device. The sensors on the device when it comes to playing this game are also working well as you can see so this game runs fine on this device as you can see so here we have another game which is called beach buggy blitz and let's try to play this game this game is again kind of somewhat graphic intensive game and let's see whether this device is capable of playing this game or not
so as far as graphics are concerned i do not notice any lag in the graphics the dot distance is also pretty good for this game as you can see That's all from us as far as the quick benchmark and gaming review of the Huawei Ascent Y300 is concerned. Do let us know if you have any specific questions for this device. We would love to help you. You can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.